In one place in Surah Al-Ahzab, in Surah number 33, this is easy to appreciate. He says, I'll, I'll recite the Arabic first. مَا جَعَلَ اللَّهُ لِرَجُلٍ مِنْ قَلْبَيْنِ فِي جَوْفِهِ Allah, the one to be worshipped and obeyed, did not place two hearts inside of any man. I'll say that again. Allah did not place two hearts inside of any, what did I say? Man. So obviously, who's being excluded here? Women are. Now if he said, he didn't place two hearts inside of any human being, now that would have been inclusive, wouldn't it been? But he used the word rajul, which is exclusive of women. It's specifically referring to men. And what's even more peculiar is the rest of the passage deals with women. It's very interesting. The rest of it deals with spouses and all of that. But the first part of it is particularly assigned to men. The other thing that's also peculiar, and I want you to remember, is that when hearts are mentioned, now where are hearts located? In the chest. And this is actually a figure of speech used in the Quran all the time. Al-Qulub al sudur Hearts that are in the chests. In other words, the Quran commonly mentions that the hearts that are the hearts are placed inside the chest. But in this particular ayah, I'm not gonna say verse, ayah. Instead of saying he didn't put two hearts inside the chest of any man, he used the word jawf, which refers to the entire body. It's not a restrictive term to the chest. He said anywhere inside of him, he did not place two hearts. Now this is the two peculiarity, peculiarities I wanted to bring to your attention. And this is kind of obvious. Because a woman can get pregnant. And if she does, she can have two or more hearts. But when she has those two hearts, they're not in her chest. But they are inside of her. So Jof is more appropriate. Subtlety in language.